Well, the sun was just not my friend this time. <laughs> we have been unusually cloudy lately, and it's really made the, the timing difficult for this striping video. And man, I really wanted to show off these zigzag lines, but I'm just afraid it's not going to happen because I've, I've actually been mowing this uh, this pattern. It's about the fourth time in a row, and this is a kind of a difficult pattern on the yard. It's hard on the yard because you have to do some you know more turning in places you typically don't turn around in, and I haven't done any damage to the yard, but I don't want to continue to mow it that way. Well, there's a little bit peeking through. I don't want to continue to mow it that way and then actually do damage to the yard. So anyway, it is what it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, right? <laughs> yeah, as soon as I put the daggone drone up, the sun wants to come out, but it's more clouds coming. But anyway. Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. I hope you're having a great day today. I want to welcome you to my yard. Uh, you know, I'm a nerd when it comes to striping. I love the look of a striped up yard. And I've done all kind of, look at that. Are you kidding me? Well, just as quick as it come out, there it goes back in. So you know I love stripes, right? And uh, I just, I like the look of it. Uh, I respect those of you who don't. I'm completely fine with it. Uh, you'll never hear me say, stripe your yard or your yard won't look good. You know, I, I just don't go for that. Uh, to each his own, people like their yard to look a certain way. I like the big, bold, in your face, get out of here stripes in the yard that's just what i like so for those of you that are new to lawn care uh on my channel that's what we do i kind of show you how to have nice turf uh, this is fescue and bluegrass mix and we got fescue back there and bluegrass over there and bermuda at the shop and i can't believe the sun is teasing me really all right so let's get to it the reason that sun is so important is in striping what happens is i'm mowing one way you see this light color line right here i'm going down i'm mowing this way and when i get down there to the end and i turn around and mow up beside it like this what that's doing is this line right here is just tilting the grass just a little bit it's not laying it over i've read some of the comments and they say, oh, your grass is stand, laying flat. And I'm like, no, it ain't no way. It's, it's pretty erect. It, it's, it's nice and perky, that's for sure. Uh, good fertilizer makes it do that. But what it does is it tilts the grass that way. And then when you turn around and come this way, it tilts it the opposite way. So when the sun reflects off of that turf and you got a little bit of turf tilted like this and a little bit of turf tilted like that, the sun rays reflect off of the grass and give you that light color, dark color, light color, dark color. I don't mow the grass at different heights or nothing like this. This is all cut at three and three quarter inches. I don't do anything special to the grass. I don't paint it or nothing like that. It's just it's the natural look of the fescue when you, you, you tilt the grass a little bit one way and tilt it the other way and the sun reflects off of that. And typically I'll just mow straight line stripes, you know, mow a line that way, turn around and come beside it and then follow that out throughout the yard. But I wanted to do something a little different, a little funky. And uh, I drew inspiration from a guy in my Facebook group. Um, 
yeah, I'm, and please forgive me if I get your name wrong. I, I, the best I can remember, I, I'm pretty sure his name is Austin. And man, alive, he's put a picture on there of some incredibly loud stripes. And uh, I'm telling you what, he does an incredible job on his yard and it looks really good. And I saw that pattern in his yard and I was like, man, I got to do that. Now, if you notice, I use a right commercial walk behind mower, but you don't have to have a commercial mower. I haven't put any type of striping kit, any type of roller on that. And you see what it does to the grass, that blade tip speed, the vacuum it creates, it stands that grass up. And then as you're mowing, it just kind of lightly tilts it over a little bit. Well, Big League Lawns makes a roller actual striping roller i've been working with them for a couple of years now i've still got that coupon code available where you get a discount on the roller and they make rollers for any mower i'm talking about just about any mower on the planet and what that does is that actually takes the place of a, a high powered commercial grade mower that has the ability to stripe without a roller and stand the grass up and tilt it and all that. And what the roller does is it goes behind your mower and it lightly tilts the grass, okay? I want to really put this to rest that striping, it just really flattens the grass down because it don't. I mean, you can see this right here. That right there is standing up. You can see the pollen coming off of it too. Holy cow. But that turf is not laying over flat. It's laying over flat right here because I'm standing on it for minutes at a time. But they'll stand back up as soon as I get off of it. But I just want to kill that notion that folks think uh, that a striping roller flattens the turf out because it just don't. When I say it lightly tilts it, I mean it lightly tilts it. Now the unhealthy thing to do for your turf would be to mow it in the same direction every single time, all the time. Coupled with doing that and using a striping roller, yeah, you're probably gonna do some harm to your grass. You're gonna mat it down and cause disease and airflow issues and all that kind of crap. So you don't wanna do that. That's why I change up my patterns so often. And that's why this video got me all in a tizzy because the stinking sun wouldn't work right and I've already cut it four times this way and I don't want to mow it any more this way. I want to change up my mowing pattern. So I said, heck with it. Just go on and film the video and it'll be a cloudy striping video. So, you know, it is what it is. Man, the first striping video of the year, I like my pine needles down. I like everything perfect and in order so I can make a good presentation to you. But it just didn't work out this time. So it is what it is. Hey, as always, I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch. And uh, again, you win some and lose some. I'll check you later.